Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a scheduled refresh for your Power BI dataset, which is going to refresh on monthly basis. For example, 10th day of every month. So to do that, in Power BI service, we don't have an option. So if I go to schedule refresh settings and here, if I check this refresh option, so if I enable the schedule refresh and, and if I check the refresh frequency, you can see only weekly or daily refreshes, but you cannot do it on monthly basis. So how can we do it on a monthly basis? So you will have to use a workaround to do the monthly refreshes. There are different workarounds actually. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do it using Power Automate. For that, we can go to Power Automate. So to go to Power Automate, you can, so you can just type Power Automate in Chrome. So you can see this link make.powerautomate.com. You can click on this. So it will take us to the Power Automate. Now from here, we can click on create to create a flow. So click on instant cloud flow and here I will just skip. So here uh, it is also giving us the option for copilot. You can say whatever you want to create and it will help you in uh, choosing the triggers, but let's not choose it for now. So here it's asking to add a trigger. I'm going to click on add a trigger. From here I can choose the trigger. So I'm going to choose recurrence. It is a schedule. So you can choose this and here uh, in the frequency we can choose month. Interval we can choose one. If the interval is one means it, it will run every month and if the interval is two it means it will run once in a two month and in the time zone we can select our time zone so i'm going to select the ist time zone which is utc plus 530. next the start time is optional so let's leave it so recurrence is done after that so if you notice here it is not giving us an option to, to pick a date so what we can do is, suppose I want to run it on 5th of every month. So in that case, I'm going to add a new action and here I will say delay. So here I will choose delay. Uh, here we can mention in count, we can mention 5 and unit, uh, we can mention day. So it will wait for 5 days and then it will trigger the refresh. So uh, here we have added a delay for 5 days. So if you want uh, the refresh to trigger at a particular time, you can add a delay for time as well where you can choose hours instead of days, specify the hours. Next, we are going to click on uh, add an action. And from here, I will search for Power BI refresh. So in this Power BI, it's giving us an option for refresh a data set. So I will click on that. Here it will ask you to log in with your email ID. I am already logged in. After the login, it will ask to choose the workspace. So I'm going to choose my project workspace. In the data set, I'm going to choose uh, let it load. I'm going to choose this AdventureWorks data set. Uh, this connection is also done. So with this reaction, uh, you can set up a monthly refresh for a particular date or time. After you have uh, created the flow, you can click on save to save this flow. There is an option to test as well. You can also test the workflow from here, uh, from the test option, if it is working fine or not. So you have successfully created your workflow. So the flow you have created, you can see that in this my flows uh, option. So if you click here, you can see the flow you have created. If you want to edit it in the future, you have certain options like this edit icon. This is to run it. This is to share it. So if you want to share it with somebody, you can click on share and share this workflow with them. So this is how you can create a monthly schedule refresh. So that was it for this video. I hope you found the video useful. So don't forget to subscribe my channel if you want the updates for my new videos. So till then, goodbye and thanks for watching.